Hey guys, uh, so I just got done editing the vlog that you're about to watch and uh, I want to apologize because I failed you once again to tell a story, to string together uh, a series of moments to you know build a narrative. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I am realizing that I've lost my some of my passion for vlogging. On one hand, all I really want to do is capture moments. I want to capture the highlights from my life, my family's life, and that's what I want to share with you guys. The problem is, is I'm not filling the gaps and stringing together these moments to tell a story. So what ends up happening is just a, 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 a mess of randomness with no context and, and no real story or, or narrative. Um, that's the part that I'm failing on. And a lot of that has to do with me just being distracted. Too many things going on. Going back to the you know the po podcast discussion. Too many plates spinning and I'm not doing a good job of maintaining them all. Um, and so now while I am focusing on so many other things in my life, the vlog is suffering. I, I was contemplating whether or even to post this vlog, but it's the question of you know quantity versus quality, quality versus quantity. Some people are like, no, you should really focus and do a really kick-ass vlog. And other people are like, no, F it, just you know post anything and everything, Dude, we don't care. And, and so I'm constantly going back and forth. Um, I definitely lean more into the quantity over quality when it comes to content. Just push out as much content as I can and some things will stick and some things will fail, but uh, when it comes to this channel, when it comes to these vlogs, I, I tend to care a little bit more. And so here I am caring that this vlog is kind of meh. Had so much potential to be more, I just failed to fill those gaps. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to give context before you guys see it. Uh, missed opportunities. Lots of missed opportunities in this vlog. This is part of my self-improvement, self-awareness, uh, knowing that I could do better. I need to do better for you guys. So here's me taking a step forward. To do better. Uh, first and foremost, let's give some shout outs to our channel members. Channel members pay a small monthly fee to help support what we do here on YouTube. And in return, they get behind the scenes photos and shout outs like this. Shout out to Mario Gutierrez Jr. for six months of being a channel member. Uh, Russell Solberg, six months. Joe Zario, five months. Monica Sutton, five months. OMG, it's Katie, five months. Trey Herzog, five months. Jordan Ritchie, four months. Uh, Bossman9807, Logan Polk, and Alex Loesch. Thank you guys so much for being channel members and supporting what we do. We really do appreciate it. Without further ado, enjoy the weekend vlog. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. Start of the new vlog in the weekend, and it's 10 a.m. Tiff and I have been up for a little while. We actually just got on the phone with our realtor talking about houses. Uh, not quite yet. Don't get your hopes up. We still got a few more months of our lease, and there's still a lot of things going on in the world, right, with the health crisis, and it's an election year, which, you know, it's always rolling the dice when, when it's an election year. You never know what's going to happen uh, in, the, in the real estate financial market, so we're not in a hurry, but we wanted to kind of get the conversation started because our lease is coming up uh, this fall, and, uh, you know, we need to know if we're going to go month to month or we're going to renew it again, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. Got the conversation going, but I'm very excited to at least get the current listings just to see what's in the neighborhood. Um, because I'm ready. I'm ready to move. I am. I'm ready to get our next uh, final house and be done with all this. Cause just knowing the back of my mind that we are going to move, this is temporary. It's never set with me good. Um, uh, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, no, that's for another conversation. Uh, we're in the kitchen. We're roasting chilies. We got some hatch green chilies here that Tiffany bought. I'm very excited. They smell amazing. If you've never had uh, these, so these are, these are hatch green chilies. They're spicy green chilies. They taste like Anaheim green chilies, which in my opinion are the best chilies. So if you're looking at like green chilies for cooking or eating, Anaheim. They come in a can like this, right? So these are just traditional green chilies. Uh, very flavor, amazing. Roast them, they're the best. So hatch green chilies are that, but spicier. And so they're my favorite. Anyway, we're gonna roast them and we're gonna do a couple different things with them uh, this weekend. Uh, some for burgers, some for some chicken that Tiffany's making. Uh, either way, I'm gonna eat the crap out of every single one of these because I love them. I hear the kids stirring upstairs. I think Bryce was up early. He's on that school schedule. He woke up like at eight o'clock on a Saturday. It's like, good boy, good boy. Uh, I'm gonna head upstairs and edit the vlog with some King's Coast coffee. Here's the first round out of the oven. Oh, mm, blah, 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 blah. they smell so good. They smell so good. It's one of my favorite. My dad used to roast these on a regular basis. Not oh, Anaheim, Anaheim green chili, but just green chilies in general. And. Oh, so excited, but that one's already busting. Mm. The aftermath. Oh, see, I could eat those just like that. 
Just, mm. We got pizza roll, and here is our salsa. We need a taste tester. Okay. Chip. Mmm. It's good. Good job. I love chips and salsa. What's up guys, it's Sunday. We're here at Cabela's doing some shopping before we head over to the gun range. Safety equipment for the kids, glasses, ear protection. Doing some shopping with brother, brother number two. Now my ears are. Bottom, you hit the bottom middle. Oh yeah, I see it. Closer. You're getting closer. Aim for the red. There you go. A little post-range lunch in and out burger. Kids got their own little table. I'm over here in the corner by myself. Animal style, double double with the peppers. Animal style fries. That's the way you do it. Bam! All by myself. Continuing our errand run, heading over to Lowe's to get some more plants. Since uh, Fourth of July, our two camping trips back to back, and then San Diego, we pretty much killed, I'd say, 70% of our plants. <laughs> All of our vegetables are dead, so I'm gonna re, re, uh, redo them up because I do enjoy gardening. I really do. Welcome to the jungle. Da, 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 da. Hibiscus. Mmm. Decisions, decisions. Pretty. Back home and Tiss back in the kitchen. She's been working in the, all day, slaving over the stove. Take breaks here and there. Got some crock pot chicken, hash green chilies that we smoked, mm -hmm. or roasted, shredded, make an enchilada casserole. Two different versions. Looking good. All right, we're back home, and uh, Sierra and I had to do an impromptu photo shoot for something coming soon. Excited to show you guys that by the end of the month, end of August. Super excited. Uh, Tiff and I are in my bedroom. Listening to, some, listening to my music, my office, whatever. And Tiffany is organizing my closet. <laughs> and that's how I said Tiffany. No, but I can't because I don't know what. No, but you are organizing it. It already looks a thousand times better. I'm rearranging. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff in there. You need to go through stuff and figure out what you need to keep. All done. Yeah. We're just saying how much I love. I love that beanbag chair. I don't use it as much as I would like to, but it's kind of in a weird spot, it's like between the closet and. But I'm running out of room in here. Legit, every nook and cranny. Pretty much has something on it, but uh, knowing that the clock's ticking on this place, I don't really want to hang up too much more. But I've got those two paintings, my portrait that Sierra drew me, and a whole bunch of posters. But closet's all done. Yep. All right, fast forward a few hours later, my room looks amazing. Tiffany did an awesome job. Uh, her and I got in our bathing suits, just dipped into the pool for like five minutes, got cooled off. Now we're back in the patio and we're doing some gardening, uh, as you saw earlier uh, at, at uh, the garden center. And we picked up some new stuff, check it out. So Tiffany bought these, uh, they go in like a little railing that, uh, for the front. We have this little terrace that they hang on, so they just kind of hang. So we've got uh, pink and white flowers for those. 
this is our little herb box in our kitchen. Uh, she's had cilantro in there. She's had a couple, a couple other things. We, sometimes we use it, sometimes it's just for decoration. We're gonna do chives and basil this time. Got some plant uh, potters for indoor plants that they bought me, which are going to be these little guys. I got a little, I love this little guy. This thing is like, looks like a little mini, little mini palm. Super adorable. I know, I, I, this one's uh, supposed to be really good for like indoors. I see a lot of people posting big, big pictures of them. So they, they do really well. Uh, and then this little guy is just for one of the pots that are empty. I bought another uh, potato ivy, purple, because I love them. My other one died, so I'm replacing that one. And then these are my, these have been my babies I'm excited about. This little guy, unfortunately, is the only habaneros they had were little baby sprouts like that. Um, so that, that little guy will be a habanero one day. This guy, I'm totally cheating. I bought, he's already got two jalapenos on it. Look at the size of this thing. I'm like, yes, please. I'm gonna let that hang for maybe another day or two and then I'm cutting that thing off and I'm eating it. I'm excited, he's already blossoming. So much more mature plant, it was more expensive but harder for me to kill it. And then this, I'm very excited about this you guys. This is a plumeria. Uh, you'll hear me talk about it a lot in, uh, when we were in San Diego, uh, when I do the podcast, but these flowers smell amazing. They're basically the flowers they use for like Hawaiian lays. Um, so. Um, I was at the store last week and I found a big one for like 180 bucks. So this little guy is only 30. So he's obviously a baby. It's going to take a lot longer for him to get big, but I'm so excited to, to, to have one and start growing it. Very excited. So that's our, our gardening day. tech gardening equipment right here. All right, so like I said earlier, we've lost a lot of our plants. All my vegetables died, um, Tiffany's flowers. Our trees hold on, but yeah, we've lost the majority of them because it's just too hot direct sunlight. But we have two that have survived and are actually doing our first transplant. So we, we potted these when we started our gardening adventure, I don't know, two months ago, three months ago. Uh, both ferns are doing great, they're getting big. So we're gonna upgrade them to a big pot, combine them, so I'm kind of excited that we actually have a couple that are still alive enough to transplant and they need to be transplanted. Well, there you go, guys. There's a very eventful Sunday to make up for the lack of footage on Saturday. Sorry, um, not sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what your plans were this weekend, what you did, what you had going on. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Kids, first full week of school, weird schedules, weird routines, so stay tuned. I'll give you updates on all the, the plants, uh, get, let you see them uh, during the daylight, and uh, talk about the kids' new routine. So stay tuned and vlog on. Mm -hmm.